But let this guy, when they poop, they don't know how to do it. They want to put a paper towel in there. Yeah, yeah. You can't poop it because it pops it up. Oh. I just want a toilet that flushes. <laughs> I catch you in there throwing paper towels in there. Man, we're gonna throw you in there, bro. The toilet's been messed up for over a month, but they ignore it. Over and over, four guards, two shifts. I'm right now. We need a I'll plunger for one on Plunger? You're not gonna have grown men in here smelling each other's feces. It's not right. Hey, plunger. No, fix it. Fix the problem. Yeah. Bring it right back out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, you needed it, right? Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Hey, man, it stinks like. Yeah. It's a turd on the floor right there. like I had herpes of the olfactory system of some sort. People could literally get infections and potentially die from this. You know, some of this stuff is actually alive. I don't know. I don't know what the that is. I've, I've never seen that before. Worms. What the is a worm? We can't seem to stop the sewage that's flowing into the pods, so it's a major problem now. This has never happened in the Clark County Jail before. It's a terrible situation. We're responding as fast as we can. You got water coming out of your room. It's coming out of your room? It's coming out of all of them. my shoes. Get our shoes. We can get really sick on this now. Well, I guess really You don't have to be trained to know you don't leave people in human excrement. That's someone formerly in law enforcement. I believe that the administration, they can't control what happens outside the facility, and that, that's not their fault. Well, how they respond is their fault. They are working on it. When your whole sewer collapse affects 300 inmates, what do you do? This is, this is complete chaos right now. There's no point in cleaning it because it's just going to keep coming. There's a point. It's it's so the best solution we have going on now is to turn the water off to stop the flooding. Our inmates don't have drinking water, they don't have a toilet they can flush, they can't take a shower. It's not the best solution, but it's the only solution we have right now. Sanitary. You're not supposed to smell all night. <laughs> I need something to drink. I had to make out this world. Y'all supposed to take care of us and give us water. But you know what? Don't nobody give a because we're criminals. And you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but we being treated like we're guilty. Good afternoon, everybody. Look, we're getting ready to do uniforms, okay? Okay. Oh, everybody have fun.
just work. You know, no pay is like a bit. Yeah. How about no one get festive with eggs? What? Since I've been in here, the CO side of me just been screaming on the inside. Those American eggs that, oh my god. Oh, waistband. And that crab eggs. There's like so much wrong that could easily be fixed if somebody was honest and pointed it out. You have officers here. I don't know if they're overworked or under motivated. Somebody needs to redirect all these officers here. because I knew it came from a toilet. Ew. When I see people walking through the toilet while I was like, ooh, bacteria is real, E. coli is real. It's just coming in here. Ma'am. We was hitting the buzzer like, oh, it's flooding in here. And they was like, okay, we can't help you right now. Is that the enough? They treat us like animals. The officers have no presence. They don't know what's going on. And if they do know what's going on, they don't care. I'm so angry right now. It was just water everywhere, like we were in a sewer. It's worse on the other side. Damn, man. The whole thing is just nerve wracking. I'm just ready to go. It's raining in the park. Hey, hey, dog. We need y'all to get your blanket. Inmates have to clean it up. These officers here don't look like they get their hands dirty at all. Initially, I was thinking that it came from iPod, and then a trustee said it came from another pot. There was an inmate that stuck a blanket in the toilet and just kept flushing it and flushing it and flushing it. Mm -hmm. It smells like sewage. It's disgusting. I'm just at, right here. <laughs> Literally. What this happened? is a raggedy ass jail, America. Do you see this? Water. They keep pushing the water into the drains and putting down blankets. See, this is sewer water. Then they'll take the blankets and wash them and then give them to us to lay under. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The blankets are still on the floor. Let's just soak up until I come back with the mop. Okay. Thank you. Behind our door is a toilet water blanket. Upstairs is a toilet water blanket. And it's okay. These are flip-flops. There's no traction here. People were slipping everywhere. You know, that's a major hazard. So we were told 
hold on to the wall or hold each other. How about get another trusty in here to clean this up so that we don't fall or hurt ourselves? How about put some bleach on this stuff so that nothing is airborne? I mean, it could potentially be some harm to someone. How about they get the COs to come in and help us because they've been nowhere during this whole nightmare? It's like they don't care, like, at all. So after the DART team came in, that got me on edge a little bit because I, I, I saw like the real lack of respect. The officers don't do anything except tell us when to eat and when to sleep and shine stupid lights in our face. And then she's like, As a police officer, I hope that people will eventually see the good side of law enforcement. But this place is ridiculous when it comes to the people they staff here. They're so unprofessional. police officer and going through this day in and day out it is upsetting because I know there's bad apples in every job I know that but when you see it it is kind of heartbreaking like your home team is just lost I didn't do nothing to him man I was closing my door by myself and I don't know why they gotta feel like they're gonna do stuff like that damn This place is, this place is just run down. Like, it's awful. Hey, BG? Yeah? Hey, does y'all's toilet work? I don't know. Does it flush? I don't even know, bro. I'm laying in the bed. All right. Your toilet don't work? No. Our water don't work neither. Oh, they cut it out. That's what that means. The plumbing is awful. I mean, the water never works. The showers never work. I mean, it just, you know, nothing works. And that's OK? You think it's clogged up? You think they just cut it off? Why wouldn't they? Five oh five. what's your emergency? Okay, I'm just dying in here, like y'all care. <laughs> oh my god, that was a terrible curse. Well, he's dead. I ain't afraid of no bugs. I've been a trustee for a couple days. And of all people to name me trustee is Miss Williams, my arch nemesis. I was not expecting that, but I feel like it helped with my cover story a little bit. 
which is good because if word gets out that I am a police officer, I will probably be in the hospital. We went up to a particular cell of an inmate who has mental health problems, who has been neglected. Her toilet has not been functioning for what appears to be weeks. There was feces concave over the top of the toilet bowl. <laughs> also urine and ripped up books and papers stuffed down. I believe there was also a towel and some clothes as well. I somehow have assumed leadership position to tackle this room. Hey, you know what? Don't touch it. Get another trash bag, and we're going to reach in there with that trash bag. I'm directing them. All right, girls, we've got this. Miss Lee, go downstairs, get some trash bags. Amber, stand by and do this. Look, look, this is well above my pay grade. Quit, quit. This is well above my pay grade. I quit it all down here. Hold that bag open, Amber. Oh, That was fun for me in a weird way. Jasmine wants to be the center of attention. She wants to be like an authority figure. We get TP tomorrow, remember you guys, okay? Why is she giving toilet paper out to people? Come on, get I think it's two glasses of paper this time. No, because I'm honorary to you. I'm wrong. No, I don't want that one. Let me get rid of that. There's clearly favorites, and Jasmine gets special treatment. <laughs> Jasmine calls herself the honorary DO, which in our terms means snitch. Bring it! You! Bitch, you! You ain't my mama, bitch! Oh, she's gonna tell. She's gonna tell. I, how am I snitching and you see me doing it, dummy? How is it that one person is able to get away with as much as she gets away with if she's not snitching on everybody? Don't be stupid. Don't be a snitch. We noticed those things. We're like, why is this person getting special treatment? If I were to do the same thing, I'd get in trouble. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, guys, stop fighting. She ain't nobody fighting. That's why she upstairs. You know what? I'll keep hearing from my bill. Every time. Grow the up. Hey, stop fighting. Hey, stop fighting. Grow the up. Hey, stop. Just stop. I'm seeing tension growing in a room, and the deal is watching from the other side and doing nothing. This is the second time with you today, dude. Cake first, now this. Here it goes again, and just Jasmine's mouth just popping off. Lock down. No, I don't want to hear it because I just watched this whole thing. Everyone, lock down. Good night. You're done. Amber came up to me and just had this look on her face like, I'm tired of this bitch. I know that when Amber went up the stairs, it's jail, anything could happen. Honestly, I could have stopped Amber, but I didn't want to.
intentionally instigate the fight, but I did get some pleasure out of it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was like, good, get her. Get her out. Amber was looking really for any excuse to fight with Jasmine. Bitch. To say someone, you know, laid into her, Jasmine, it, it's no surprise whatsoever. Love you, Amber. Bye. Amber was doing something that all of us wish we could do ourselves. Stupid bitch. <laughs> I just, I have a lot to lose, so I, I didn't take it that far. These officers could have prevented it, but it's kind of like they want it to happen. Bye, Jasmine, we'll miss you. The jail operations and protocol at this facility are all kinds of messed up, and it's definitely something I want to bring up to the sheriff. Bye, Jasmine. And get what I did, did wait till you go to sleep, like everything cool. And put it on the side of your pillow where, you, where I know your face is gonna land it, like when you roll over. <laughs> That's what I would have did then. That's what I would have done. Man, you roll over your whole face. Guess what I would have did then. Bernard is a charismatic character. When he's talking to the other guys, I can hear him you know, boasting a little bit. But as far as I can tell, he's been pretty real with me. Let you say somebody snitched on you, man. Yeah. And that's why you locked up. Possible. That's what I'm gonna do. What? I'm gonna hit their ass with their tummy. But I ain't talking about hell fair. Nice. Matt got a good vibe, and I keep a good vibe. So it's like, like chemistry, you know what I'm saying? Like LeBron James and Kyrie Irving, we can't never lose. And it look like guacamole a little. Mm. Good, right? Man, we just kicking it. We play cards, we eat, you know what I'm saying? And I could I could do my time like that. What'd you drop? A piece of some stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, you can just bought some. Yeah. So Bernard has a joint. He tells me that he's got it, and I'm like, great. The only guy with the drugs gets put in my cell. And who am I? I'm the guy that's in there for growing wheat. And I was like, great. Yeah, I had asked around. Yeah, he asked around We had one. We'll be stoned. Yeah, for real. Me and you, we'll be stoned. All yeah. We'll be stoned. The only guy in the whole friggin' dorm that got some marijuana, and he gets put in my cell. And then I'm thinking, I'm not gonna get a lighter. Dude, right, he's the oily. I begged him. What you want to eat? I know you're hungry. Nah, I would never pretend to know anything. I was like, whatever. You know, it's not going to happen. So I fall asleep in my rack. At that point, it had to be like 3 in the morning. The way to get fire in jail is you make a wick, you wrap up the toilet paper real tight, you tie a knot in it, and it's like a candle. The trustee will come up with the lighter and he'll light the wick under the door. Now you have an ongoing flame. What is I don't want you going in there playing the inmate games. You violate those jail rules, chances are you're gonna be placed in lockdown. And at that point, after you get out of lockdown, you're through with the program. I'm sorry, sir. It's like my worst nightmare in this place. And now I gotta start thinking, Am I gonna smoke it? Am I gonna go against my word that I wasn't gonna do anything to jeopardize my leaving at the right time? What I did not need is to be in a room with the colonel and him going, Matt. 
I got you, bro. Come on, what's up? Once I jumped out of my rack, I knew I was gonna do it. I'm gonna make sure that we don't get caught. I knew we had to block up the doorway, I knew we had to pump the toilet, take the bed mat, put it on top of the toilet, and push all the water out of it. So the trap is exposed to just the drain pipe, and it creates negative pressure, and you smoke out the toilet. I know it's like, damn, he's smoking in the toilet, but that's the only way we'll get do without getting caught. So we had to start flushing the toilet as we're smoking. So now picture two adults with their faces in the toilet, and I'm continuously flushing the toilet. And it's one of those situations where you don't want to think about it because you might disgust yourself. I know the place has to smell using what we use for air freshener, the soap sock. Crush up soap in the sock and bang it on the walls. You gotta do it quick, because they're walking around every 15 minutes, every half hour, and that's not a lot of time, you know? I was stoned, like, I was... It's like it came to me. That joint traveled to me from somebody's ass crack into my cell. What are the odds of that? It's like lightning striking. I had to do it. Man, look at me, man. 